Hi, hello friends. Welcome to Brighter API. I am Milind Mehta. In this tutorial, we are going to learn our next hacker rank challenge, birthday chocolate. So let's get to go to our hacker rank account. So friends, this is my hacker rank account. Uh, this is the algorithm that birthday chocolate. Our next implementation algorithm. So what it says, Lily has a chocolate bar that consisting of a row of n square, where each square has an integer written on it. So it is uh, it is saying that uh, they have a chocolate bar on each end of the chocolate. They have written some number one two one three two. Okay. Uh, what it says is that she wants to share it with the rooms for his birthday, which falls of the M month and the D of the day. Lily only wants to give an a roll of piece of the chocolate if it contains M consecutive square whose integer sum of D. Okay. So so what it says whose sum of D. Okay. So what it says. Given m and d is a sequence of the integer, so they have first first two is a m, and another remaining is part of the d. Okay, three numbers of the d. Given m d is a sequence of integer written on each square of Silly's chocolate bar. How many different ways can Silly break of this piece of the chocolate to be one round? So, uh, as an uh, as an example, they are saying that. They have m number of two, m is equal to two, and month second, and the day is three. The chocolate bar contains the number of the squares with number that is one, two, one, three, and two. Okay. Uh, so one and two are the consecutive numbers. Two one is also consecutive numbers, and written on from from the left to right. So from the one two one three two, we will read. And the following has been diagram. So they have explained that one and two. And the two and one. Okay, so both are getting three. Then only if they will they will share a chocolate with the Ron. So uh, how they will uh, in, uh, input that? The first line contains that an integer denoting n, the number of the squares of the chocolate bar. The second line is n space separated from s zero to s n minus one. And the third line, which is the containing, the, the, they will uh, so it is a d and m respectively. Okay. So what they want to uh, share that we, they they need to check that how many chocolates or how many consecutive numbers are there, okay? Which will share with the round, okay? So this is an uh, this is an example that sample input they are inputting a five numbers one two one three two which is the actual chocolate chocolate bar you can say the third is a day and the second month okay means d is equal to three and two and The output we will do because one plus two is equal to three and two plus one is equal to three. The consecutive numbers. After that we will count that one plus three. That will not be possible. Okay. So if they will take as a one plus one, one plus one, so two, two. Okay. So uh, it that that will not be a possible. So ultimately the eight will happen a four. Okay. And so. We should uh, print the answer as a zero. So they have mentioned here. We with the we we print the answer as a zero. Okay. okay. If there is a one four, and the four one they have written that it will share a one chocolate. Okay. So so let's let's write the program. Let's write the function. What they have taken that they have taken n. That how many chocolates are been there in the chocolate bar? Okay. And they are taking with an n array. They are also taking the value of d and m, okay, and they they are passing into the function, okay. So how many ways they they should they they can share the chocolate, okay? And here we are going to write in a function, okay. So what we need to take, we need to give a result. So just I am declaring a result, okay. So now, uh, we need to, uh, we we need to count the chocolate for the count the consecutive numbers. What we need to do, we need to iterate the Okay, so for integer i is equal to zero, i less than squares. Okay, so till the consecutive numbers or the squares dot length. Okay, we need to iterate it and the i plus plus. Okay. Now, what we need to consider that we need to consider that if i and we need to take another loop is that for the Making a plus for that both the numbers, the first number and the second number. Okay, for the all the chocolates. Okay, 
so if c is equal to zero so we need to take another look integer j is equal to zero j less than m okay what is the m m is a one okay and the j plus plus okay in the month we need to iterate now what we need to do that if i if i plus j if i is equal to i plus j is equal to less than squares of the length okay because if that that will get increased that it will not a possible of the all the squares of the number uh, consecutive number so it should be a less than square okay then only they can make what we need to then do that we need to add it that square dot square squares of i plus j i plus j okay so both the number means 1 and 2 it will be a come so we need to uh, make the sum of that 1 plus 2 okay so that that's what we have written okay after that what we need to check after the loop okay we need to check that if c is equal to is equal to d okay we need to compare it with that that the both the number well, the first two number are the d or uh, sorry the first uh, the last two num last three numbers as an example we are taking that last three numbers are the d okay so we need to compare it with the all these month okay if that will be a same then what we need to do we need to do a increment of the result okay and after that what we need to do we need to return return a result let's run the code oh it shows me a compilation error oh <laughs> just because in the hurry always i always forget to write something okay, if there is something more error than put it okay so if there is i think no error okay so we we have uh, passed the first initial three test cases and let me submit the code and let's check that we have passed all the test cases or not oh great guys we have completed this challenge that birthday chocolate please comment on the below that uh, how was this session did do i need to improve anything please comment it please share it okay thank you very much guys thank you for your support